sweat. But I haven't been able to get my hands on everything because I put some stuff up and then you know with any crafter, once you put it up, if it's not in the place that it's supposed to be, you can't find it. And those things will have to be put in either a later video or I'll have to link it down below somewhere and you would have to go see if you could find it. Some of the things that I mentioned, they might not have anymore and you might have to get an equivalent, but hopefully I don't pick anything that you don't have access to because a lot of the things that I've gotten, you should be able to pick it up from um, Amazon uh, or wait until they have a sale at Michael or Joanne's for like 40, 30% off or something and then try to pick it up then when they have a certain brand sale or something. But most of the things I'm going to show you is shown to you so it doesn't break the bank and you're not overwhelmed with a lot of things that you don't necessarily need hope this video helps and like I said um, hoping I said that this is going to be a series because there's so much stuff and this is over years time between three cutters I don't have a Starcraft or a roll or anything like that but these um, some of the things that I show you should be able to use for those types of cutters as well okay there y'all okay hey y'all this is some uh, redoing this video. This is Crafty Chat, things you need when you buy a Cricut. I do have other things, but I can't find them. Um, also, I, I don't know if I necessarily need to do a video for my scan and cut um, and my silhouette. Because the same thing kind of applies. When you get your machine right off rip, you get a mat, which is a 12 by 12. Um, you also get a fine blade. Unless you get a bundle, you could get like pins and um, vinyl, um, not necessarily adapters, but you could get that inside of the bundle. Um, one of the things that I recommend that you get as soon as you get your machine is more um, mats. Now, this brand, like Kappa, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I say like Kappa, I bought um, these in both. 12 by 12 and 12 by 24. I also have Cricut brand mats, but those cost more. I don't wait for something. I didn't wait for those to be on sale, so I have bought them at $20 a piece. These I've gotten bundles for like $20, where you can get three. Or, you know, they have different sizes. I have them standing up, and I keep them. This one particularly is two in here, I believe. I keep them inside of this protective case, just so that, you know, I know where it is. And then this, okay. So, as a FYI, this is getting under here. Okay. As a FYI, this is painter's tape. I, if I do a, a eight and a half by eleven um, print cut, and I don't want to have to figure out where I'm going to put it on the mat, I would size my design. I would print it at the size I want within the eight and a half by eleven, and I would just place it in this area. When I send it to cut, it's closest to the corner. No issues with me cutting. This I take painter's tape and I just put it around the edges. And I cut a eight and a half by eleven on this one, and then on the other one I have a twelve by twelve. So I can take a whole sheet of twelve by twelve and put it on the mat and just cut it out. And then I took more painter's tape once I've like figured out where it will be on this side, and I just filled it on the edges. So. As you can see, this is eight and a half by eleven. Um, I have these. I get them from, or I've gotten these. I got two of them. I got them from Five and Below. It's a, I want to say it's a cloth lunchbox. And before I get into what I have in there, I'm gonna point to these. Now, I just put this. If you know, um. When you're cutting, and you especially if you have a table, your mat will blend will lean down. These are like stands that go on each side, and it'll lock into your cutter, and it'll extend your mat so that it doesn't lean as much. And because I'll have my especially my like 12 by 24s, they'll lean over a lot. I end up holding it by the tip while I'm cutting, just so that it stays it stays straight and it goes back and forth in my fingers. Well, I got this to try it out to see um, will that work. I haven't tried it yet though. 
one of the things that you can get are pens. Now, I have those pens, those are Cricut pens, and let me open this. I have these Cricut pens. You can get pens from the Dollar Tree you, once you get the adapter, or if you, if you have a cutter that needs an adapter, or one that doesn't, you can just use the pens. But yes, you use pens for if you're doing calligraphy, like if you want to sign a card, or you're making a card, you want to write happy birthday, somebody's name on it, or something like that, you'd invest in some pens. And I would suggest you get a silver and a gold, and black, or whatever the color that you want to get. Now, let's see, let's talk... Um, holders. Yes, okay. So, as I said before, and I've said it like many times, when you get your cutter and you get one fine cut blade, which is probably looking like this, right? Get another one. Get another one. You want to have one that is set for paper, which this one is my paper blade. This is my fabric blade. This is my deep cut blade. And this is my vinyl blade. Since I'm not doing paper cutting, I don't necessarily have to use, I don't use this one. But if I was going to cut with paper, I would switch it out. This is the one that stays inside of my, stays inside of my cutter. And I change out the blade if I was to break the tip. As you can see, the tip isn't broken. This is my, um, I'll talk about the blades in, in a bit. But you need to invest in another one of these. You also, if you're going to cut chipboard or stencil material, anything thick, leather, then you would get a deep cut blade. But just for purposes of if you're going to do paper and HDB or vinyl, you want to have two different holders, one for, one for each. Now while we're on that, let's talk about uh, blades. So the first blades that I bought as a replacement set were these. These are from Miss Case Cuttable. She has fine pouring blades and she has um deep cut blades and it's by angle you can see but you can't see it on these because of the fact that they um have the tip on the blade part but you can see it on these and i buy these in packages this is a 30 pack i have a 60 pack and a 100 pack somewhere i don't know where they went but this was like less it was probably eight dollars for 30 blades and they're like fine cut blades. Sometimes they have like they have different mixtures. They have your fine cut blades, your deep cut blades. You might have your um, fabric blades. It depends on the angle that's necessary for the materials that you're going to cut. But I highly suggest you invest in blades. And you don't have to sit there and like keep sharpening your blades. Remember to push down when you're cutting like this. Make sure that there is nothing on the blade. When you, if you're having issues with your cuts. But yes, get you some blades. Um, this is a redo of this video because the uh, orientation was off, so I'm doing it again. And this is just a crafty chat, I'm just talking. So, um, for those people who are interested in sublimation, say you don't have a printer and or, or sublimation ink, you can't afford it. You have two options with Cricut. If you can get them on sale, I would suggest you get either the, invis the, the infusible ink sheets, which I have a lot, but I have to use them and I have to get those used, or you have the pens. And I have two sets of pens inside of here. Yeah, I think I have two sets of pens inside of here, and I could color on something and then sublimate with it. And it's just for, like, if you're testing something or you want to do something for somebody and make it, like, specifically for them, that's what you're going to use. If... You can't get your hands on somebody um, who can make you transfers, or you can test it whether or not you even like sublimation. Okay, so I've bought the deluxe kits. I've bought the kits with names on them, as well as I've gone to Harbor Freight and gotten tools. If you have a Harbor Freight by you, and they have like these little kits where they look kind of like dental tools, get those. <laughs> this thing is like five bucks for that and you can weed with them they come with like sometimes you can find tweezers you might find like scrapers where you can do for like squeegeeing you can find like 
um, hooks, which is something similar to like this, the hooks. I would suggest you get some tools, but otherwise I got these in Michaels and Joanne's. I have a couple of sets, so I keep these around the house. Close to my, um, I have next to my heat press, this stays inside of my, um, cutter. And these stay with me if I travel, I have them with me. In the sets, they come with squeegees or, you know, you just pick up stuff or scrape your mat. They come with scissors. They come with the hook tool. They come with spatulas. We got the tweezers. You have reversible tweezers. You have uh, either reversible tweezers, sorry. Those are tweezers. And then you have different types of tools, like the, um, something like the pin pin, which I'll show you in a second. The pin pin is this. Okay, so this is a weeding tool. As you can see, it's a little tip. You got to be careful with it. can't zoom in because I'm holding my phone. There we go. If I can get it. Well, trust me. <laughs> This is the pin pin. It comes in a it comes with a holder which is here. Here we go. And it comes with two replacement blades. They have they had two for ten dollars or twenty dollars and then they had one that had like these two, I think it's like five or six bucks. I just got one with the replacement holders because I'm more nine times out of ten. I wanted to try it, but I'm more likely to use the ones with the hook tools that are like this. And I have like multiples of these. So with that, I'm just saying you don't have to necessarily buy clicker brand tools. So if you see something, another brand on sale and you want to get your hands on it, go for it. Um, I also have a scoring tool. I have, um, I would say this is, a, this is a craft knife. Because um, cleaning your mat. I also have um, big ones of these. So I have these two small ones, and then I have one that's like maybe three times the size of this that I use for most of the time, but I couldn't find it when I was getting everything together. Or these things. I have more stuff, I just can't find it. If you have a skin cut or a silhouette, same thing applies. When I got my silhouette, I ended up getting um, deep cut blades. I didn't necessarily get another holder for paper because I never cut from it, but I just got out of the way, me getting a deep cut blade, me getting mats, me getting um, blades, and I put all that in a bag that's with the silhouette. With my scanner cut, I bought stuff from my scanner cut as long, along with the individual sets they have for scanner cut, meaning the sticker kit, the rhinestone kit, they have a bunch of kits. Each thing individually you have to pay for, unless you use something like shortcuts a lot, um, for like rhinestones or if you want to make stickers and you decide to like design outside of it and then bring it into your scan and cut or stamp images and then scan them. Those are these are some of the things that I would recommend that you invest in. And I'll say again, um when you first get your cutter, or even if you've had it for a while, invest in another holder, one for your paper, one for your vinyl. You can use your, your HTV and your vinyl blade together because it's smoother. It's not rough like a paper blade. You're less likely to like break the tip of a vinyl blade in, or a blade in vinyl than you are to use it in paper, especially with different thicknesses of paper. And make sure that you get mats. And if you can't afford getting a $20 mat a piece, because that's how much it costs me to get like scanner cut mats, silhouette mats, it was either $20 to $30 that I paid for them. And they change the mats over time. Get the Nikappa uh, brand. Unless you can wait and get a Cricut brand, but Cricut brand stuff costs more. 30% off for a mat versus getting two or three mats in different types. Like you can get, um, oh my bad, I should say this. Blue, green, and purple. Blue mats are light tack. Green mats are standard. And the purple tack 
far for fabric. Invest in each color, especially if you know you're going to be doing those. I don't plan on cutting fabric anytime soon, but I do have fabric mats the same way I have the fabric glue. I do like Cricut, but it's not the software, more so just the cutter. I love my skin and cut. I got stuff, I got more stuff for that. And then when I got my silhouette, it was a gift. I ended up buying what I needed for those. And I hope this works for you. Um, blades, well, if I didn't mention this, definitely, 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 when you get the holder in the mat, get the blades. These are three sizes. They're color coded. So like yellow might be, I might have more um, red blades, which would be fine point. My yellows could be like, say, um, maybe deep cut and then the blues might be fabric. I'm not exactly sure. Don't hold me to it. But you can, instead of getting each type of blade, just get one color of blade. And just, just keep those in your, um, in something like this. Like I said, this is um, from Five and Below. I don't know if they even have them like that, but it's cute, it's small, it has a thing, and I carry with me when I travel. My machine is in a bag. I'll show that in this video in the, in the end, unless I slide it in here. Um, I carry something like this, and then I carry containers that are like um, 12 by 12, or I should say 13 by 13, um, big probably this big in size and wide so it's 13 by 13 containers for HTV. I have rolls and I'll have sheets depending on what I'm going to do. If I know I'm going to need more then I will take the rolls but if I'm just going I just carry like maybe one of those with me for whatever project that I'm going to work on. And I have some I, I have some things like if you're somebody who's new and I can, I can add this in. If you're somebody that's new and you don't have a stash, you want to get vinyl, you can look at some place like Expressions Vinyl. They have grab bags. They're usually like, what is it? It was either 5 to, I think it was $5 with $5 shipping. It might have gone up now. I haven't ordered it in a couple of years, but I built a big stash up of those, getting them every Wednesday. You got to get them early, though, because they sell out really fast. And... Let me get a bag. So, if let me end this video by saying, "Hey to y'all," and hope every um like I answered any questions on things that you need when you first get a cutter. So here's my bag that I use to carry my Cricut in, and this is the second one that I bought. All of my cutters are in a bag or they have a bag. So this bag, the reason why I bought this one was because it is padded. It has two panels pockets in the front reinforced like sturdy and then it has these two boards at the bottom you can't see it. two boards at the bottom to keep it flat on it on itself so that the cricket is resting on it and you can put any cutter inside of this the brand of this is luxia or Lux luxia however you want to say it but i say luxia and it has these two um do i have something in here i feel like i do but I can't open it one-handed. So two pockets in the front, two pockets in the top, and then you can add stuff on the side. This is big enough. I have folded my 12 by 12 mat inside of there, but I'd rather have it flat. So that's where I would put, and I do end up putting my um, mats inside of my case. And I think I'm going to add that to this video. And also, these are... Um, bags I get off of Amazon they I they have different sizes you can see that you can see that it's like mesh it's plastic it's kind of reinforced and if you got all of your like you know you have your things you my glass cleaner your pins you can put them inside of here okay so this is me, um, the first type of bag that I was getting. This is, this might be Luxia as well. It comes with the two pouches in the front and it has a strap. But the design for Silhouette is weird. 
I did see that they had some that was made specifically for the silhouette. That might have pattern in the front and in the bottom part. And I might end up getting one of those. But as soon as I got this, and I took it out of the packaging, I put it in the case and put it to the side. I didn't play with it. It does have um, pockets in the front. It has both the straps to hold it like a duffel bag as well as the strap to hold over your shoulder. And inside of here, I probably have the blade, the holders I have in another bag, um, adapters, I should say. So if you're looking for a bag for silhouette, this is okay, but I think you might need something with more padding. If you see the one that's like 20 to $30, because you can see how thin it is. It doesn't have an extra padding like the first one that I showed you. And that's why I pulled this one out so I can show you the difference between cases for your, um, Oh, I should say cases slash holders for your cutter. Okay, so I'm adding this in. Uh, one thing that you should be purchasing, if you don't have, are um, swatches. So this right here, this is Caesar Glitter. And it's from the time that I got it, every color of Caesar Glitter that was available. And I did get these off Expressions Vinyl. So Glitter HTV from Expressions Vinyl. And how these are made are when they buy the roll and they cut down to sheets, anything that's left over, I believe they cut them into um, um, swatches and then put them on the rings. This is electric. This is 651 matte. And Oracle. So, regular vinyl. Here is their grip block pearl. And then, let's say this is Caesar. Yes. How this works is if you, um, when you're doing your shirts and you're telling people or they're showing you, oh, I want this color, I want that color, or you have the color match, you pull this out and let them pick the color that they want. They can match it up to the shirt that they want or the color that they prefer, and then you can best um, use this with your shirts. So, yeah.